Welcome to Taylor Memorial Library's Archival Adventures. My name is Wendy. In each video, we delve into the history of Centenary University, and today we're going to talk about the Great Fire of 1899. In 1899, Centenary University was known as Centenary Collegiate Institute, or CCI. Located in Hackettstown, New Jersey, the campus included a large administration building, two gymnasiums, a chemical laboratory, a barn, and an ice house. The administration building, which housed the student dormitories and parlors, classrooms, chapel, library, and administrative offices, was erected in 1874. The outlook for the future seemed brighter than ever. True, there was great need of additional accommodations for the work of the school, but in 1899 there were also lively hopes of supplying them, for 1899 was bringing CCI's 25th anniversary, and great plans were being made for a fitting celebration. The high spirits of the centenary community wouldn't last long, though, as, quote, Midnight of October 31st transformed all this glowing promise into a mass of smoking ruins, end quote. Shortly after midnight on the morning of October 31st, 1899, a fire started that demolished the main building, leaving students and staff without dormitories, classrooms, or possessions. The cause of the fire was unknown, although some believed it to have been started by a spontaneous combustion of fumes from painter's supplies which had been placed near a boiler room in the basement earlier that day. The fire was discovered by a night watchman who then ran to alert the school's bookkeeper. Three professors followed close behind. The men, seeing the basement engulfed in flames, abandoned the idea of putting the fire out themselves and quickly ran to awaken the building's sleeping occupants. The 215 students, staff, and faculty members sleeping within the building were quickly awoken and ushered outside. At 2 a.m., the tower clock tolled for the last time, then plummeted to the ground. The floors and inside walls crumbled, leaving only portions of the outer walls, which continued to fall throughout the course of the next day. By morning, the entire building was destroyed. Although the building was a complete loss, amazingly, there were no fatalities or serious injuries. Within a month, the term was resumed with the gracious cooperation of Hackettstown citizens who opened their homes to students and classes. A new administration building, now known as the C Building, was built with separate dormitories on either side. The 25th anniversary of Centenary Collegiate Institute would prove to be the most critical year in the young school's history. Though the fire destroyed Centenary's central building, it did not extinguish Centenary's spirit. <laughs>